So let us look at a parallelogram. Hmm, we've got so far zero sides parallel with a kite one side parallel to trap. And now we have two sides parallel. How do we know that? Well, they got slopes that are the same. Look, line AB has a slope of point 0.1. Line CD, slope of point 0.1. Parallel. 1, 5, 1, 1, 5, 1. No matter what I do to these, no matter how I move it, these slopes will be the same. That is definition of parallelogram. Move it around all you want. So, let's hide those, get those out of the way. Look at the sides. Here at the top, A, C, E, and F. Look, two of them are the same. Side A is the top. Side C is a side. C is a side. So the top and bottom. Hey, the top and the bottom are the same. So opposite sides are not are parallel. That's what we said before. Opposite sides are congruent. No matter what I do, look at these four numbers right here. They always stay congruent. So if I can make something with a couple with some congruent sides, two sets of congruent sides. We got it. If I make something two sets of parallel sides, we got a parallelogram. Um, let's throw the. Let's look at angles. Come down here. Look at those opposite angles. Opposite angles are congruent. Hey, it's another property. Opposite angles are congruent. Okay. Yeah. What? No matter what we do. Opposite angles are congruent. So if I could make that happen. Now, it's actually kind of harder to build angles unless we're building a perpendicular. So we're not going to worry about that one so much. Uh, let's look at these diagonals. Are they the same? Here's G and H. Are they the same? No, we want me to hide the lines. So we can just look at the diagonals. Let's try that. Do G and H look the same? No, they do not look the same. Ever. But they do look like something is happening. Like they're getting cut in half. So let's peek. So let's go see how big it is from A to E. That popped up here is I. And D to E. Hey, those are congruent. So the diagonals are... Hey, look, 135, 1118 are bisecting each other. Yeah, that's another property. So if I could draw this, make two line segments bisect each other. Uh, that one just became 359 and 359. If I could make that happen, that gives me a parallelogram. You know, and then I would just, you know, draw in the sides. So that's actually another way to construct a parallelogram. Make two line segments that cut each other in half. So those are your properties of a parallelogram. Oh, they look like they're cutting the angles in half. Let's peek at that. No, not cutting the angles in half. So they're not angle bisectors. They just bisect each other. So we got opposite angles congruent, opposite sides congruent. Opposite sides parallel, diagonals bisect each other. All important properties. So replay it if you need to. Get the properties down.